What is poppin' guys? We are back on Pokemon Showdown today for some more OU suspect tests. Uh, on the last video, of course, I did read everybody's comments and very insightful, very insightful thoughts indeed. I am more leaning towards Hoopa staying in the tier now, which is great. So um, I do have a, I have another team here. It was it was a bit chilly outside today, so uh, I thought I'd bring um nice uh, Aurorus OU squad. <laughs> we got here a nice uh, rock polish Aurorus. Very powerful Pokemon indeed. I mean, it is slow, so the rock polish should be able to get its speed up. Potentially, potentially sweep a team. Uh, late game, maybe, after rocks are up. Uh, we also have here a Scarf Rachi with Healing Wish. I love using Scarf Rachi with, um, with Latias because the, the double Healing Wish is just so nice for offense. Able to bring back win conditions, bring back threatening Pokemon that your opponent does not like. A uh, Rotom Wash here, just a nice defensive Rotom Wash. Uh, Charizard X, Dragon Dancing set. A little bit bulkier, but um, Max Attack Adamant, so this thing will hit like a truck. And we also have here a Lando T for some rocks. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into a battle and see how this team performs. I say Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Is, I don't know, like, I, I looked at this team, um, I don't I actually don't remember how good of a movie this was, but, uh, you know, watch the original Ice Age. The original one's pretty good. I don't know about all, like, the, the reboots and stuff. I saw them, like, a long time ago. But uh, anyways, it's like, the, the team is basically looking kind of like, uh, dinosaurs, dragons and stuff, so I figured I'd just name it that. Thought it was pretty clever. But anyway, let's just go ahead and find a battle, and I'll pause until you get one, so be right back, guys. All right, and we got one here versus a pretty, uh, pretty standard-looking offensive team. I think I'm just going to uh, lead off with perhaps my. I think I can just lead off here with the uh, with the Charizard, as he leads off with his Lando. Perfectly fine because I can just go into my Rotom, and um, he's back in Smackdown, which is interesting. <laughs> pretty interesting indeed. I'm just gonna go into my Lando here, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, was pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could get up my rocks here. I mean, my team's not looking good with rocks on it, so I could also I, I could also just go Rotom, and uh, now I can just Will O Wisp here as uh, he has not smacked me down, so that's really good. Hit this thing up with a burn as he goes for the U-turn, and I mean he has Healing Wish Laddie to bring this back if he wants to, but um, I mean I'm fine right now. Just gonna go into my uh, to my Laddie here. He goes for the Volt Switch, is perfectly fine, and. Goes into his Bisharp, okay. Which means I could probably go Zard here. Ah, he has Pursuit, he has Pursuit. Good to know. Yeah, I'm gonna go Lando here. And I mean, I'm able to I'm able to eat this up pretty well. So I could just go right for the, um, right for the Earthquake here. Goes into his Lando, I can just get up my rocks. This thing is burned, so I'm not worried about it at all. Not worried about this thing at all. Goes for the U-turn, takes some more Rocky Helmet damage, very nice. And into his Keldeo he goes. Okay. My Keldeo switch is literally my Rotom right now, so I gotta go into that as he scalds, and I can just go right for the Volt Switch here, as he's probably gonna go into his main, uh, Mega Main. And if he does do that, I have to go into my Zard and Roost. I think that is my best play by far. Goes into his Lottie here, though, so I can just take this opportunity to go into my Jirachi and go right for the um, the U-turn here, I think, is fine. Or or the Iron Head. Or the Iron Head is good. I'll, I'll just Iron Head here, I think. As he goes into his Bisharp, perfectly fine as... Um, I'm just going to Iron Head again. And uh, now I'm just going to go into my Zard here. As he tries to sucker. Nice. Okay, cool. Now I can take this opportunity to Mega plus Roost. So I don't have to keep taking 50 from rocks. And, uh, yeah, just go right into my Lando here. See, the one thing about Smackdown Lando is that, uh, you can literally just switch out of Smackdown. <laughs> so that's, uh, I mean, it's interesting. It's always, it's always a fun thing to try out, but still. I don't know if I'd, uh, I mean, I, I probably still would use it. I, I'd still use it, maybe. Just gonna go here for the uh, Stone Edge, just to get damage off of this. We get a crit there, which is nice. Goes for the U-turn, so now it's put in a range of- Okay, just died. <laughs> he just died. I thought he would uh, live at like 1% or something. But he goes Keldeo here, which means that what I can do is actually just Earthquake right off the bat. Uh, he just goes right for the Scald. Okay, I didn't think he would because I have a Rotom, but... We can go Rotom here, we can now just go right for the Volt Switch. No trouble, no worries, and um... I could probably just bring in my... My Jirachi here. I think I can just go for the U-turn. 
as he brings in Bisharp. Very nice. I can now bring in my uh, Charizard. And I'm pretty sure we could just Dragon Dance up and try to win this uh, at this point. As Knockoff was only doing 30, 32, around 32%. So I can just Roost this off. Dragon Dance here. And he's running Pursuit, so I don't think he has SD, which is really nice. And I can just keep Roosting now at this point. Uh, plus two should be enough, I think, just to win this game. I don't want to risk him trying to crit me or anything. Want to get back to a good health, though. Definitely a good health is um, very crucial. And uh, I can just Dragon Claw here. As he does Sucker, okay. Sucker's on the right on the right point there, so that's good. Into his main he goes. I'm just going to Roost this off. Goes into his Torn. Okay, okay. I'll just Flare Bliss this thing. I don't want to risk him being, um, or being able to live a Dragon Claw. And uh, at this point, I mean, I think we pretty much just win this game. As, uh, I think I'm just going to Roost here. The Volt Switch just gets the crit, unfortunately, but, um, I mean, it's looking fine. It's looking pretty fine. We are plus two right now. I'm just going to go right for the uh, Dragon Claw here. As Hydro Pump, of course, kills us. That is fine because we have a Jirachi that actually just ends up winning in the end, I think. Um, gonna go into my Rotom here. Just go right for the Volt Switch. This is definitely Specs Keldeo, I think. It's looking like Specs, I think, because of the damage output. So um, I can Volt Switch here. Go to my Rachi and click. Probably U turn here is fine. Into main he goes. I can go to my Auroras here. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and take a flamethrower. I'm pretty sure I can. Rock polish is gonna be faster. Okay, let's just go right here for the rock polish. And uh, he goes right for the volt switch. Not bad at all. Lottie's coming out, and I think we can just win this game. And Aurora is getting the late game sweep. I'm just gonna go right for the hyper voice. So three hyper voices should do it. In comes Keldeo. We can Hyper Voice this. Ah, he's okay, so he's Scarf. So maybe that's just like, <laughs> is that modest Scarf or something? Or maybe that's how much it does to Zard. Interesting. But um, anyways, Jirachi can just come in. Click U-turn. Rotom can come in now. And uh, that's going to be a good game. I mean, he's going to knock us out with T-Bolt, of course. But um, Heart Stamp should be able to take the win. As, uh, what I can do is just go right here for the Hydro Pump. In comes Jirachi, Heart Stamp here. We'll definitely knock this thing out. And that's going to be good game. So we did see Aurora's put in some work there, which is nice. Let's just go ahead and grab another game, and I'll pause till we get one. So, be right back, guys. Alright, and we got our next battle here versus a uh, pretty cool Seismitoad team, I guess. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Um, I'm just going to lead off here with my... Probably Zard, I guess. Actually, no, no, not Zard, not Zard, not Zard. Um, Rotom's not a bad lead. We gotta find a way. I mean, Auroras can actually put in some work. Auroras is freeze dry, puts in work versus that Rotom, puts in work versus that Seismito. That's what I like to see. I think leading off with Rotom is a good lead here. Leads off with his own Rotom. Okay, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. I'm just going to burn this thing with a Wisp. I am faster. Oh, he's faster because he's trick. Cool stuff. Which means that I guess I could, um, I could go into my, I'm, I'm thinking he's just going to go for the Volt Switch. I'll just go Lottie. Oh, he, he has T-Bolt. Okay, so he doesn't, have, he doesn't even have Volt Switch, I guess. Or maybe he's Volt Switch, Trick, Hydro Pump, and Thunderbolt. I don't know. Um, hard to say. Goes right into his Porygon too, so he's able to eat that up really well. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll go into my own Rotom here. Trace the Levitate too, nice. Ice Beam freezes me, awesome. Always fun. Uh, I'm gonna go to my Auroras here as he's probably gonna bring in Seismitoad. Or he just recovers, okay. That's cool too. I'm gonna go right back into Rotom here. I think. As he tries to T-wave me, nice. Um, I'm 
I mean, I'll try to vote switch out and thaw. Or I could paint split here. Oh, nice. We thought. All right. So in comes in the seismic toad. I'm just going to um, just going to go into my auroras here. Zardex puts in some good work as well. I think if we get rid of the seismic toad or weaken it at least, goes for the rocks here. I'm just going to um, hyper voice. I don't know how much it does to uh, Porygon. How much did that Dra that Draco literally did like <laughs> thirty something percent? So I doubt hyper voice is going to do more. I mean, I guess I could freeze dry here. Oh, we do. We catch the Silent Toad. Nice. Aurora's putting in that work. He probably didn't even expect that. In comes the Metacham here. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to go into my Lando probably as he is. I don't think he's going to Ice Punch right off the bat. Well, I mean, Aurora's did its work. Aurora's is not going to be doing much else other than maybe damaging Rotom, but Rotom's already burned and stuff. I don't know if I want to predict the Ice Punch coming in here, so I'm just going to Hyper Voice. He just Megas right off the bat. Okay, so he just High Jump Kicks. That's fine. Perfectly fine. I didn't want to risk Lando because Lando is actually really useful versus the um, Scizor plus Medicham. At this point, I'm pretty sure we can just go into our... I think Lando's fine here. And I want to go right for... Uh, the earthquake here as he goes Porygon that is like 18 that's crazy <laughs> that's actually crazy I'll go for the u-turn now I mean maybe Aurora's could have put in work like earth power at Bisharp or something but I, I don't think it could have goes for the t-bolt here um, Nothing really stopping me from just clicking Wisp, or I mean, he might just go into his uh, his own Rotom. As he does, perfectly fine. I'm just gonna go into my Lottie here and get these rocks out of the way. Gives me an opportunity because I don't see him having Volt Switch, which is really good, really good for us. And uh, I mean, I could I could just yeah, I'm just gonna defog here. As he goes into his bishop, I'm just going to now T-bolt this thing. No reason not to. As he just suckers, perfectly fine because I can go into... I don't know if Zard lives actually. I don't know if Zard lives. I could Mega and uh, Flare Blitz maybe. Alright, nice. <laughs> Probably predicted the Dragon Dance there or something. Yeah, this is looking pretty decent for us. He goes into Porygon here. He's probably just going to click T-Wave, which means I'm going to go into my Rotom here. As he, okay, just Ice Beams. Okay, perfectly fine. I'm just going to now Volt Switch, I think is fine. I think Volt Switch here is pretty fine. He's, he's probably going to go back to Rotom. Yep, he does go right back into Rotom here. We can take this opportunity to go into Zard, click Dragon Claw, knock this thing out. And I think Zard is actually going to be the win condition for this game. Rotom, uh, sorry, um, Aurora is actually opening up this. Oh, he's still fast. Oh, I'm. <laughs> I must be like slow Zard or something. Yeah, we'll just healing wish this thing back up. No worries, no worries, no worries at all. Into his Medicham he goes. We'll go into our Lando here. As we see him go for what the uh, the Zen headbutt. Okay. That is fine. I think I'm just going to set up my rocks here. Doesn't see me as Ice Punch, or maybe he does. Goes right for the high jump kick. Okay. 
That's an interesting sort of play there. Maybe he expected me to double. Goes to the Zen Headbutt, we are living at 1%. And we can Earthquake here and knock Medicham out. Okay, that's really good. Really, really good. Scizor, definitely not his Mega, so I'm guessing this is, uh, I don't know, SD? Maybe Banded? Okay, it must be Banded then. Gonna go into Rachi here and use this as an opportunity to click Healing Wish, I think, is fine. Or I think I could just U-turn. Can U-turn for now into Rotom. Click that Wisp. I don't think we can lose this game as long as we um, preserve Jirachi. Gonna go, I mean, not preserve Jirachi, preserve uh, Charizard. Because Charizard could actually put in some good work versus the thing. This thing is very fat, very defensive. And T-Wave is going to be a pain, but we got to get through it. He just T-Waves right now. And um, I mean, at this point, I think we have to Healing Wish now. He just T-Bolts here. We can bring back Zard to life, and I'm pretty sure I can just Flare Bliss this thing. Adam and Flare Bliss should be doing a lot. I'm pretty sure that, uh, I mean, Porygon might be able to live. It does live. It does live. Okay. Is he, th uh, he just Thunderwaves here. Out comes the uh, Scizor. This is going to come out, of course, and, um, I mean, is this thing banded? If, if he is, then it's going to definitely pack superpower, and I don't know if superpower kills or not. So I'm going to go into my Rotom, as, yeah, he just gets the crit right there, and now I don't, it's not going to kill us right now. So if we just hit through Paralysis, if we hit this thing, we win. Do we get this? Please. Superpowers again. And we are able to get this kill. Nice. That's going to be a really good game there. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and uh, grab another game. And uh, I will, of course, pause to get one. So be right back, guys. All right. And we got one here versus a uh, very offensive team. Espeon, which you don't see too often. Once again, we got here an Espeon. Very cool. Or not once again, but uh, <laughs> for the first time. I don't know when the, I don't know when the last time I used this thing was, but uh, I think it was back in black and white, or maybe in uh, UU for uh, for uh, for ORAS. But anyways, I'm just going to lead off here with Rotom. I think is fine. Maybe this is dual screens, and if he's dual screens, I don't want him to set up with another Pokemon. So because I'm fearing that he's dual screens, I'm more inclined to lead off with uh, Lottie. Lottie's not a bad lead. Let's let's lead off with Lottie here, as uh, he does lead off with the Espeon. I'm going to actually just click uh, T-Bolt here. As we get a crit there. I'm going to T-Bolt again. And uh, now I'm just going to defog these away. Yes, we do get it first. And uh, the screens should be defogged. Wait, they're not? I thought defog like hits everywhere. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought I literally thought defog hits everywhere. Huh? So, so if Espeon bounces back defog, because because I thought defog clears both sides, so I figured that um. Okay, never mind. I'll get rid of this thing then. That's so weird though. Like I <laughs> actually had no idea. I literally thought defog would um would clear away like every single side's uh, screens, rocks, etc., hazards. Guess not, but uh, anyways, Bisharp is gonna come in here. I'm just going to go into my Rotom, I think is fine. I mean, he might just SD up. Probably will SD up, as he does. If he has like a Lumberry, that's gonna be really bad. We are able to live this. He has, uh, what does he have here? Does have the Lumberry, okay. It's good to know. Because he does, I don't think he can knock us out in one hit with, uh, if we bring in our Zard. Just gonna just I'm just going to mega click flare blitz here. Just knock it out completely. Okay, that's good. I lost my bird check though, that's horrible. I should have seen that he was Lumberry, but I mean I didn't think he'd be. Lumberry's always my favorite Bisharp set of all. 
Lumberry SD is definitely my favorite bishop set. Goes into his Azu here, so this thing is probably Belly Drum. So I'm gonna go into my... Actually... Hmm. Let's think here. If I Flare Blitz this thing, let's see what he does. Yeah, he is Belly Drum, of course. So I'm just going to... Um, He's going to Aqua Jet here. Charizard is not that useful actually anymore because he has a Chomp, which I mean, I have some other Pokemon for it, kind of. Hmm. Auroras might be able to put in some work if, I, if I'm able to Rock Polish somehow. Just Aqua Jet's here, knocks us out. Let's go Lottie. I'm pretty sure we can live in Aqua Jet and just T-Bolt this. T-Bolt should, of course, kill this thing. It's definitely a tricky team to play around. So we can knock this out. I don't think anything else can set up other than Talonflame maybe. Maybe he's SD Chomp too. <laughs> maybe he's actually SD Chomp. He goes Pinsir here though, okay. Goes into Pinsir, I'm just going to um, go to my Jirachi. On this quick attack probably. Yeah, there we go. And uh, now what I can do is just click... Um, Probably Heart Stamp is my good play here, as I don't want him to have like Roost or something on his or not Roost, but um or to switch into his talent flame. Because Heart Stamp of course is stab, so I can just flinch this thing down. He has D's here, very cool. But that quick attack's only gonna do 30 now. And I mean I don't really need Jirachi anyways. Nice, we got the flinch here. So all we need to do is hit this thing twice. He can't kill us in two quick attacks, so we're pretty good. Not too worried right now. He does quick attack the first time, so uh, we are going to be able to knock this thing out right now. Alright, so into Chomp he goes now. Okay, okay. So, what does this thing do? If I go Lottie here, what is he going to do? Let's see. Outrage right off the bat. Okay, okay. I see you. Definitely don't want to risk Lando. Because I need this thing as a win condition. Actually, do I need this thing as a win condition versus um, Talonflame? I, I mean, does Auroras live in Outrage? I, need, I actually need to calc this real quick. I'm going to calc and see if Auroras lives the Outrage. Because then if it does, then I could just win with Lando. Or I could just go Lando now and set up rocks. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. Let's go Lando just set up rocks here. And then I can always healing wish back Lando later. I can just do this right now. Set up rocks here. Go into... um. I mean, he's intimidated, right? So I can go into my Jirachi. And then click... Heart Stamp. And then try to Rock Polish with this, uh... With this Aurora's if he's locked in. Actually, I don't even think Rock Polish will, uh... <laughs> I think Rock Polish is a bad idea. I want to win with Aurora's, like, that's what I want to do. Goes into Talonflame here, so he takes about 49% or so. And, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna hard stamp. He actually, he, he might have Roost, so I'm gonna go into my Lando here. He does have Roost. Okay, cool. Going to, um... Going to Stone Edge this thing. I mean, he's gonna probably Sack Pinsir, which kind of makes sense. Or he just brave birds and does sixteen percent. Okay, that works. As, that works just as well. Gonna go Rachi first here, and then bring back in Lando. I think is my best play. Bring back in the Lando, and um, I want to win this by clicking something with Aurorus for this game and that's exactly what we're gonna do how do I not choke this though <laughs> actually if I, I, I think I just um, yeah I don't think I can I mean yeah he can't kill me with Aurorus or he can't kill me without rage with uh, Aurorus here so I'm gonna go Aurorus now I'm gonna get the kill with this thing he better not crit me I spent I, I'm literally like risking the game right now just so that Aurorus can get this kill so
Or he might even just Stone Edge here. I literally should have just Earthquaked. I wanted Aurora's to get the kill. Please do not kill Aurora's. Nice. <laughs> and we got the win here. Not even bad. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and grab another one. Aurora's putting in that work. That's what I want to see. Got the late gate or the last kill with the Aurora's here. Nice Ice Age. <laughs> Ton of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and find out the battle. I'll pause so you get one. Be right back. Alright, and we got one here versus a pretty cool uh, looking, pretty pretty colorful team. Or not colorful, but um, yeah, <laughs> kind of kind of colorful. Kind of colorful. I'm just going to lead off here with my... Um, it's looking like... It's looking like Zard is not a bad lead here. Let's hit over Zard. As he leads off with the Infernape. Perfectly fine, I'm just going to go ahead and click Dragon Claw on this thing. Zard puts in such a good amount of work versus this guy. I could even just Dragon Dance up on this. I'm not sure what set he'd be though. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, taunt here. Uh, he, he taunts me, so that's a good thing I went for the Dragon Claw there. And I can just Dragon Claw again, probably. I mean, this time I could probably just Flare Blitz here. He just sets up rocks. Perfectly fine. Got rid of the Infernape there. And I can actually just defog these away, no problem. He doesn't really have any sort of defog punishers on his team, so that's really good. Into his Clef he goes here. Okay, so Clef, Clef probably has T-Wave, I'm guessing, so... Maybe I could just... Go into my... Rotom here? Expecting, or maybe, maybe I could just Flare Blitz. I mean, if he has T-Wave, like, what else can he do? And I have he I have double healing wish, so I'm not really worried at all. Yeah, I'm not worried I'm not worried about this thing at all. Clef, I mean, he can't really deal too well with uh, Zard. As you can see, there's 72%. And he just knocks off, expecting my switch. Uh, so I can just Flare Blitz again. And I do pack the healing wish, of course, like I said. So, we're great, we're great. Doing good. Goes into his torn here. He really, he really wants this Zard dead. He really wants it dead. Alright, so he goes Jirachi here. I'm not going to bite. I'm just going to switch into my uh, Lando here is fine. As he iron heads. And now I'm just going to pull a double here into my... Um... Actually, you know what I could do? I could U-turn. I'm just going to U-turn out. U-turn is, is probably the best play here. As he's probably going to be inclined to switch, as he does, into his Clefable. I don't really want to go right into Lottie just yet in Defog. This thing is in a, a good place for me to just go into Aurorus. And click um, Hyper Voice here. Even Freeze Dry is going to be nice. Uh, I think I could just Hyper Voice though. And yeah, we could just knock out this. Aurorus getting another kill. Very good. Very good indeed. Into Manaphy he goes, I'm just going to click uh, Freeze Dry here. <laughs> I don't think he's going to Scald yet, he just goes right for the Tail Glow. Nice. And that does so much damage, that is awesome. Really good. And, um, I mean, this thing did its work, it's not going to be able to do much versus the other one, so we can let this thing go down. And uh, go into our Lottie here. Click uh, T-Bolt to knock this thing out. And Aurora is putting in, t putting in that work, killing one Pokemon, weakening another Pokemon for another kill here. I mean, even if he... Okay, so he switches out into Rachi. Perfectly fine. Back into, um... Actually, you know what I could do? I could probably just defog away now. I'll defog these things. He's just gonna U-turn anyways. Or he'll just double out. Yeah, he just U-turned. Perfectly fine, because we are faster than whatever else he brings in. As he brings in Venusaur here. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to, uh... I could even save this and just go into my, uh, into my Jirachi. Or I could just Healing Wish up right now. You know what? Let's Healing Wish. Let's Healing Wish this thing. I have a Jirachi anyways that's faster than Manaphy. So I'm not worried one bit. So we can Healing Wish this thing. Bring back in Charizard. Ah, nice. This is looking good. He probably has Heart Stamp. 
So he might just go right for that. As he just goes, okay, he just goes to the Iron Head. So he just wants to uh, flinch that Charizard. I'm just going to Earthquake here. Earthquake all around my best play. He's got nothing else to take uh, anything from me. So we can Earthquake this Venusaur here for some decent damage. And um, I mean, at this point, I could just, uh, let's see, Jirachi's at 35. We'll just U-turn out. He decides to Mega. So he's definitely a defensive set. Go to my Rachi here. As he Leech sees me, I'm just going to U-turn out. Don't want to take uh, damage with uh, with Rachi. I'm just going to go into my Zard here. As he Synthesis is. Synthesis. Synthesis. I, I don't think he has... Um, I don't think he has Sleep Powder at all. So I'm pretty sure I'm safe to just Dragon Dance here. And then Dragon Claw. Should be a uh, 2 hit KO maybe. Not too sure. Yeah, definitely a 2 hit KO. And we can just go for um, go for it again here. Knock that out. Very nice. Next, he's going to probably just bring in the Jirachi. And he is faster than me, of course, because I am uh, more uh, attacking sort of less speed <laughs> Charizard. <laughs> um, just going to go to my Lando here. As he decides to Iron Head me. Perfectly fine as I can just go for the U-turn here. He'll knock himself out in the process, which is great. Or he just goes right into Manaphy. Perfectly fine. I can go into my Rachi here. And I'm uh, pretty sure I can just Heart Stamp. And it should kill both his Pokemon. Actually, I don't know if it kills Rachi, but... Uh, we'll definitely just knock out Manaphy right now. Goes into Rachi here, okay. So, can I just go right back into uh, into Lando? I mean, if he plays it smart, that's cool. Oh, he healing wished. Ooh, that could be bad. That could be bad. Just going to uh, Earthquake this thing for damage. Get off as much damage as I can. And then just flinch this Manaphy down to death. What is Rotom at? Uh, Rotom is at full. Okay, that's good. It's good to know. Does he have Energy Ball? I haven't seen that yet. He tail. <laughs> Why would he tail glow again? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that does not make any sense at all. Like, why? What do you get from that? That's why, if, if you're watching my videos, let me know, dude. Let me know why. Because I can just hard stamp here. And I mean, hard stamp will, of course, kill this thing for sure. This is stab, of course, max attack. And that's going to be a good game. So, um. Uh, I think we are going to. What are we going to do now? Let's. Let's just get one more. Let's just get one more. I like this team. I like this team a lot. It's definitely a lot of fun. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Let's get one more for this live. Uh, definitely a quality one. I'll pause so we get one. Be right back. Alright, and we got one here, of course, versus the infamous Storm Zone who appears in every single live that he can. That is his goal. That is his dream in life. And he's able to do it once again. So, um. <laughs> Aurora's an OU. Yeah. And Aurorus is actually gonna look like it's looking like it could put in some <laughs> some good work because he's got uh like he's got everything like that's weak to Aurorus. That is awesome. Um, he's probably gonna try to play around it. Uh, it's looking like his Mega is Garchomp because this looks like a Sand Team. Probably like screens Klefki or something like that. Gonna lead off here with the Zard as he leads off with the Hippo. Okay, that's fine. Going to just go into my. Um, Rotom here is fine. As he goes for the Toxic, good play. I'm just going to will wisp something. And it's going to be the Hippo. Alright. Going to go Lottie here. As I can actually just, um... Go right back to Rotom, I don't want to get toxic And I can just... I think I can just Hydro Pump here. Or I can just... Oh yeah, I was going to Volt Switch. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to go Jirachi here. As he leaf storms me, which is okay, I guess. I'm gonna iron head here. Got the flinch, of course, very good. 
And I mean, he'll probably just switch out at this point. Into Klefki. Okay, so Klefki's coming out. Gonna go into my Lottie here. As he goes for the Reflect, I can just uh, defog these uh, screens plus hazards. No, I cannot, but I will. Nice, screens are gone. Gonna just T-Bull here, get some damage, and um, let's defog again. Defog here now. Yes, there we go. Okay. Lando, he, the way he just brought it in, it has to be like double dance or something. It's, it's gotta be double dance. So, um, because of that, how do we take this thing on? Let's see. Um, if I drop a Draco here, no, I cannot drop a Draco here. Nice. Um, ah, oh, that's, that's actually really bad because <laughs> I would have literally just dropped the Draco and revenge killed it with something. Um, let's see. Gonna healing wish up. Never mind because he just hits me. And, I mean, I guess we could flinch it down with Rachi. Which is, that's what I'm gonna do. Nice. Into Manaphy he goes here. This thing has a leftover. It's pretty sure he's, he might be, he might be Tail Glow or something. Um, what do I want to do here? I want to, uh, I want to win. He Tail Glows up. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to damage this thing with a Dragon Claw. He can't kill me in one hit anyways, I think. Or he can. Or he absolutely can. Um, that's really bad. Let's just go ahead and, uh, Flinch this thing down to death as well. And we can just bring this thing all the way down. One more. Ah, so Lando's gonna be the sack here. Into Chomp he goes. This thing is probably Mega. Probably Mega Chomp. Gonna go Lando here as he SDs up. I mean, I can just Earthquake this thing. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. That did a ton of damage there. Okay. Um, plus one attack. We go to Rachi here. We click... Uh, let's see. Manaphy is at 24. We can click what? He's got T-Wave uh, T -wave Klefki, which is annoying. Can we just click, um... <laughs> yeah, it is, dude. I think I can just iron it here. It should be good enough. Into this Klefki he goes. I'm just going to, um... Gonna go Rotom. Click Hydro Pump, I think. Or I could, I could just, um... Yeah, Hydro Pump here is fine. What is this thing at? Superior is at 30. Okay. You gotta play around that. I'll just Volt Switch out here. Okay, okay. He goes Hippo. Interesting. He's gonna go Aurora's here. As he goes, Manaphy, okay, okay. I see you there. If I rock polish and I don't get burned, that is good. 331, so I got the Spadef boost in the sand. No burn. I think we can take this game right now. <laughs> oh, nice. Got the Spadef boost in the sand, that is awesome. Goes into Klefki here, I mean, he's gonna just T wave me anyways, but I can knock this thing out. Into uh, Hippo he goes now. Um, I 
Earthquakes knocks me out, of course. I'm just gonna go here into my... Um, well, he's burned, right? He's burned. So I'm pretty sure I could flinch this thing down if I want to. Alternatively, I could go into my Rotom and Hydro Pump here. How do I not choke this game away with all the luck we've been getting? I could probably... Um, I could probably go Jirachi here. Light Screen is still up. And I don't think I die from a burned Earthquake. So I'm just gonna Iron Head this thing down. Got the flinch there. Do we like land every single flinch? That's crazy. And he just forfeit. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I can't even stay in that battle right now. That was, a, <laughs> that was disgusting, but at the same time, it felt so good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this live. Definitely had a lot of fun. I mean, it was very entertaining, very, very entertaining live. Very fun indeed. Aurora's putting in that work in almost every battle. That is what the point of this live was. That is what I wanted to see, and that is what we saw. So definitely climbed up on the ladder a good bunch there by going undefeated uh, with this team for this live, of course. I did test a little bit before, and, um, you know, I think now I feel the strongest with this team. So hope you guys enjoyed overall. Let, uh, let me know what you guys think. Looking forward to hearing from you all, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.